you get what you please we about to get it all what you doing watermelons so i have a lot to tell you guys so first off, I'm gonna eat because I'm starving. Well, I'm gonna get my food ready to eat. I wanted to show you guys what I get. I get this a lot because it's delicious to me. <laughs> it's the veggie lovers pizza. I'm sure you guys have seen it on my um, story or shorts or whatever, um, but it is vegan and it's just a little tiny mini pizza full of veggies and it's delicious. And I just pop it in my little cooker. It has one of those, um, it looks like just a little frozen pizza it has one of those like microwavable um that that part so i just rip up the box and i use that as the uh plate because i did it without the plate one time and it just made a mess there were crumbs everywhere <laughs> i'll show you guys ah i'm like so not gentle with opening things <laughs> like I don't know if any of you guys um, vape, um, but I, I have a stizzy, and so I'm always getting the vape cartridges, and uh, um, there's like a special way to open the box. Like it comes in this nice little fancy box, right? And you're supposed to like push and pull, and it's like all set in there like nice and pretty and stuff, but I don't. I literally, I rip it open just like I do this. Like I just... And I'm just gonna lay this like that. And then I just lay the pizza right on top of that. Here. You know what? I guess it could be using my thing here. I really don't use this as much as you would think. Open it and set it right on in there. But the sucky thing is, is that it's gonna take like 45 minutes to an hour to cook. I did just have a protein bar. The usual, no cows. Um, I got the peanut butter chocolate chip. I actually like these way better than the uh, birthday cake ones, but they're always sold out. Target is always sold out, so I get lucky if I get this flavor. So I was stoked. I wanna tell you guys about my day. <laughs> it's been pretty interesting. I feel like whenever I record, a lot of the times my hair is like, in the process of drying. <laughs> I record a lot whenever I get out of the shower or leave the gym. I don't know why, it's just like become a thing, but that's why my hair looks the way it is. It's just half wet. As you guys know, obviously I haven't been posting as much. Honestly, I just haven't been feeling it. The negativity and the hate and stuff is, it, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of got to me a little bit like it just kind of put me in this funk like I was starting to lose motivation to even make videos I wasn't even really seeing the negative I just knew it was out there and I knew it was heavy based off of what my supporters have told me it's it bummed me out because there's just so many lies and untruth going on but you know I had to sit with it for a little while before I realized that it is what it is. It's going to happen and I think I've, I'm at a point now where I just fully accept it and I'm going to have to just, you know, I'm just going to have to pray for the people that are putting out so much hate. Okay, so I got to tell you about today. I've got my motivation back. I've got my oomph back, my, my drive, my love for what I do. I, I got it back. I feel it. Sometimes you just, people get in these little funks where they lose motivation. But anyways, that's over with. I'm back. <laughs> And today definitely helped. So yesterday, I got to help a lady that tremendously lifted my spirits. Like, I was so happy. I was so fulfilled. And this is kind of weird to say, but it made me crave more. It's making me want to do more. Like, right now I'm actually looking into um, volunteering at, like, shelters or soup kitchens or uh, something along those lines. My lips are super chapped. Hold on. It's amazing that I don't have to go into an office every day to a job that I'm not happy at. But also it's like, okay, I have all this like free time and nothing really driving me through the day. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, I've always been a very, very hard worker. I've had a job ever since I was 17. Um, and growing up, I've, I've had multiple jobs at one time. I usually had like two or three jobs. Um, 
I've done everything from, <laughs> from working at a grocery store, bartending, serving, um, working in department stores. Like I, I've had so many different jobs. I've just always been a hard worker. So for me not to have a job, like what do I do? So that free time is going to be spent giving back. And that's what I've been doing. <laughs> it is so fulfilling. Like, I'm not bashing anybody who works a nine to five. I actually applaud you for doing that. It's, it's just not for me. Anyways, let me get back to what, <laughs> see, you see, I lose my train of thought all the time. Where was I going with that? Where was I going with that? Shit. Oh, okay. So before I got my little spark back, I was getting into like this little funk, not like depression at all by any means, but when you sit in your car, when you live in your car, it is very easy to kind of get in this stagnant mindset because it's not like a house where you're walking around and doing stuff. You know, you have time to think and that can be dangerous sometimes, you know? You just sit here. If I'm not actively doing something, I'm sitting in my car. Whether I'm driving, I'm relaxing, recording, whatever. I'm a lot of the time I'm in my car. And so that does take a toll on you mentally. I've mentioned like the knots that I get <clears throat> in my body, like in my shoulders and in my legs and glutes and stuff. And I've noticed that it's gotten worse. Um, and just all around not being active will kind of put you in a depressive state. It had been about a week or so since I've been physically active. Like I've just kind of been just no motivation to get out like I don't know if it's because like this past week has been like extra hot so people there's just people everywhere like by the beach and like when there's a whole lot of people I, I don't want to get out and like do stuff like that's just me I don't like big crowds and especially right now I'm not even gonna lie like with everything going on right now the hate and the BS going on about me I just that's kind of another reason I don't want to be around people is because I don't want to be noticed <laughs> as funny as that sounds like I don't want to be seen like oh that's that girl that everyone thinks is a scammer blah, blah, blah. like you know for all I know people might not even think that that might just be me in my own head but yeah, so I haven't really wanted to be like out in the public eye very much um, so <laughs> whenever I'd go I'd go to the grocery store like on the other end of town and every time I'd go I'd go in and I'd come out I'm always like in a hat and big sunglasses and hoping that nobody like notices me. <laughs> so this morning, okay, so this morning, I'm thinking, all right, I'm feeling okay mentally. I'm cool, I'm content. But my knots and everything were like really starting to ache and I'm like, all right, I've got to get moving. I have to get some exercise. I'm going to end up putting myself into a depression if I don't just stay active. I've got to stay active. So I took a scoop of pre-workout and I was like, I'm gonna go to the gym. And I actually drove by um, this path that leads down to a beach area that I actually haven't been to yet. Like last minute, I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna go here because it's wide open. There's not very many people down there. It's beautiful. The weather is perfect and it beats going to a gym where there's a ton of people. I went for a little jog, a uh, nice walk down to the beach. I saw a little, um, I saw a seal like right there on the beach. Like he was playing like right there on the sand. I've got, um, I got clips of him. He was the cutest. Ugh, I just, I was smiling from ear to ear. I was so happy. Like he made my morning. Um, and then I passed by a man who was just as like in awe with the seal and he, he was walking his little dog and he was just so friendly he kept smiling at me and he was like we were joking because the seal was like seriously posing for our pictures <laughs> for our cameras um and we were just getting a kick out of it <laughs> that that was definitely an awesome experience and that that alone like right then I just my spirits were lifted I I was like all right cool like this is gonna be a good day so I spent maybe like I don't know, probably about like an hour out there, just soaking it in. The water was just crystal blue. It was a very clean beach and it was very, it was just gorgeous and serene. On my way back, <laughs> on my way back, I hear something and I had my earbuds in 
and I turn around and it's this guy and he stopped me and he's like, I, I know you, I watch your channel. No, that's a great first reaction. You know, <laughs> I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh my gosh, is he like, a supporter or is he a hater? There's no telling what this person's gonna say. It's gonna be something positive or it's gonna be negative. And I'm just like, hi. <laughs> and he turned out to be such a beautiful soul. I'm so glad that I met him and ran into him, which is really ironic because I went to that beach to avoid anybody noticing me. And of course, somebody randomly notices me. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, what are the odds? But I was like in a very secluded area, so to be noticed didn't even like cross my mind. He like went on about my videos and he was like, I've seen this one, I've seen this one, I've seen this one. And so essentially he's seen like all of my videos. I was like, I was just so humbled. I couldn't stop smiling. Like this guy, like his, he was so full of life and he was so happy. So he just seemed like so inspired. And he told me that he too is uh, living out of his car. Now it's just for like, I think a month is what he said. Um, it's just a temporary thing because he's moving. Um, but he's saving up for a van as well and he's gonna do the van life. And he also has a um, family who doesn't necessarily support. He told me that he's loving life and he's like, you know, it's really not that hard. He's like, I saw your channel and I, I figured if you could do it, then I can do it. And I was like, that is amazing. Like, I'm not out here trying to make or persuade people to live in their cars. But I do want people to enjoy their lives and that for him to actually say those words, like I'm just out here enjoying life, that was everything to me. I was like, yes, that's, that's amazing. The fact that I could inspire that, I think it's incredible. You know, so we talked for like 30 minutes probably. And um, I did tell him, just like I'm, gonna, I'm telling you guys, that yeah, it's been about it's been a little bit since I posted my last video and it's just because, you know, this hate's taken a toll on me and I needed to regroup and get that drive back. He was very like understanding. He, he was like, you know, as long as you're doing what you're doing out of love, then none of that stuff matters. And he's so true. Like that's what I have to stay focused on is just doing me, just to continue doing me, to continue doing what I started and being authentic to myself and just completely ignoring the naysayers. That's what I have to keep doing. Just that conversation with him inspired me to keep going. I don't know if I should say his name. I don't wanna say his name because I don't know if that's gonna be okay with him. But you know who you are. And I, I just wanted to give you a shout out because you truly did inspire me and I'm so glad that I met you. It really, it meant a lot to me and your uplifted spirit like your positivity and your uplifted spirit and your plan for your life is just incredible and I just want you to know that and I want you to continue to live out those dreams and I want you to know that you can do it and and I cannot wait to hear and see about your story I hope that you end up making a YouTube channel about uh, your van life. I think that would be so cool and I would love to watch it. It's funny is that we actually got to talking about like parking in this area. So he, he gave me a tip. He actually, I was, I told him that um, where I was normally parking just kind of got shut down for overnight parking. Um, and so I'm like at my last resort right now. So he told me where he's been sleeping and I actually know the place very well. And I had no idea that they weren't enforcing um, no parking there. So, I'm probably gonna check it out. So thank you, thank you very much for that tip. I've been uh, hanging out in Ventura County just because it's cooler. I, I can't do LA right now in my car in this heat. Um, I feel like I would just be running my AC all day, every day and yeah. I wanna be where it's kinda cooler right now. And I think it's gonna start cooling off. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so yeah. Once it starts cooling off, I'm gonna go back to LA, which I actually have to go back to LA very soon anyways, because I have something coming up. I don't know if I could share it yet because it's not set in stone. I actually will be talking to this person um, about this upcoming thing. I'm gonna be talking to them today about it and get more information. 
Um, oh, and to give you guys like a little more of an update, I know that I kind of gave you an update before letting you know that um, I was meeting a YouTube producer who was wanting to be my manager and kind of help me like level up in the YouTube business, um, kind of help my channel in a sense. Um, but I actually ended up not meeting him simply because I just, I decided, well, first of all, our schedules both were kind of different at the time we were supposed to meet up. In that time, I, I was really thinking about it and praying about it and honestly think it's a better move for me right now to just ride this out on my own um, without a manager, without a producer or editor or whatever. <laughs> I don't really know all the terms, all like the, anyways, without help. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing this solo 100%. Um, there's nothing professional about my YouTube and I get that and I understand that it could be vamped and could be better, but to be honest, I didn't, I didn't start this channel to be like cutesy and um, fancy. I, I make little edits here and there because I like to play around with the editing app, but it's really not for that. It's just to come on here and let you guys know who I am and show you guys like where my heart's at and what I like to do with my life. It's, just, it's meant to be kind of raw and um, unpredictable and not so perfect, I guess you could say. I mean, the guy's very cool, like a very sweet person. Um, I intend to keep in contact with him just as a friend, just to have somebody to know in the LA area. He actually too is a Bob Marley fan, which is way cool. Like in his office, he had a big Bob Marley poster and I was like, we're gonna get along. <laughs> but um, I say that a lot, don't I? But um, it's because I always lose my train of thought. Giving you guys the update. <laughs> okay. Um, I just shut my car off. Does that make a difference? Is there less noise? Okay. Um, what else? I did get an offer to audition for a role for an upcoming, oh, is it a series? I think it's a series. Maybe it's a movie. I think it's a series. <laughs> first things first. The one thing I was talking about is kind of like my first step. The thing that I was, I'm gonna be talking to the person about today. Um, Squid Games. I'm still on the fence about Squid Games. I don't know. I really don't know what I want to do there. Um, I talked to the lady over the phone. It is legit, by the way. I was sent the application and I was told to just go ahead and fill it out. And once I send that in, then I would be put on the list of the people that they're casting. Whenever I talked to her on the phone, she told me that she told me it's going to be like two months shooting in the UK. Now, I don't have passport and I'm sure that they'll take care of that because I'm sure that I'm not gonna be like I wouldn't be the only cast member without a passport um, because the cast is actually people from all over like you have to speak English but it the people are like from all over the world so I'm sure that they'll take care of that or help us help the cast members get everything that they need but the whole being in the UK for two months that's a big a decision to make and I need to make sure that it's right and I honestly don't know yet I told you guys I'm not gonna make like any decisions based off my own understanding I'm gonna make sure that I pray about it and I'm 100% confident and sure that that is the right move I need to make and that's such a big decision to make that I, I I don't feel comfortable yet saying yes or no. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that one for sure. And there was a reality show, I don't even know what it's called, Love Something, Something About Love, <laughs> that I got asked to be on. I don't need to find love on a reality show. <laughs> oh, that's definitely not part of the plan. Mmm, this pizza's smelling good. It smells so good, like, 
I know it's just a veggie pizza and it's vegan and it doesn't sound very appetizing, but you guys get one of these. Seriously, get one of them and cook it and smell it and you'll see what I'm talking about. Like they smell so good, like you're in a um, pizzeria. Okay, so to rewind, I met this amazing man today that uh, was a fan of my channel and completely just made my day. Like while he was sitting there talking and telling me his, um, his life plan and his goals, I'm just like, I am so amazed right now that I got to meet this beautiful human being that is so excited about life and his next chapter in his life. Gosh dang it, I wish that I did not like get teary eyed every time I talk about something that makes me happy. It's just when I'm passionate, I'm passionate. <laughs> I'm not crying, I'm not crying. <laughs> and what's funny is that I was so uplifted after talking to this guy that I went to the gym. <laughs> I went straight to the gym. I was like, F it. I don't even care if people see me. I don't care if they notice me. I don't care if they talk about me. Um, I have to get a good workout in and that's what I'm gonna do. I got a good workout in. I stretched, I rolled out. It saved my legs. Like I feel 100% better. My knots aren't hurting. My legs aren't hurting. I feel rejuvenized, um, refreshed, restored, all the R words. <laughs> I feel it. I just wanted to update you guys and I wanted to let you know that I'm still here. I'm still going to be posting videos. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention because this is only fair. For the most part, I don't go into the comment section. Not right now. Just because of my mental health. This whole YouTube life, YouTuber life thing is new to me. And so the scrutiny that comes with it, I'm just trying to process it, you know? Yeah, I've just stayed out of the comment section. I feel like if I went through and read them all that it would affect my persona a little bit in my videos and I don't want that to happen. And I don't want my videos to be based off of what people are saying, if that makes sense. I want to stay true to myself and I want to record what I feel is on my heart and I don't want to record things that are in response to negative comments. And I know that if I see some, I'm going to want to say something like in response to either defend myself or speak my truth or negate whatever they're saying and really that's just a toxic place to be and I don't need to be there right now. But I'll get there, like I'll get back into the comment section again and um, interact with you guys a bit more. Um, I do every now and then check my emails. I don't check them all. I do away with a lot of them that I can tell like just reading the titles or the subject lines or the first like sentence that it's not gonna be something that I want to read so I just trash it. But there are a lot of positive ones that I'm like in the process of going through right now and uh, I do intend to respond to those. Um, I just, I wanna continue living my life and I just don't want to go down that rabbit hole. I don't need to, but yeah. Anyways, all right, so that about covers it. Um, oh, I am going to include uh, some clips of the beach this morning and the little seal that I saw. I think it's a seal. Maybe it's a sea lion. I don't really know the difference, but he was cute and he's so worth watching. As always, thank you so much. I love you and I will talk to you soon. Mwah. Bye. Thank you.